Hi everyone, this is Out Apostrophe. Let's check out La Grand Legacy Tale of the Fate Bounds on Nintendo Switch. I would want, uh, want that? I don't, I don't know. God damn it, that music is loud as shit. Jesus. Alright, let's check this out. This staff is the byproduct of a combination of a rare willow species and human bones that retain some of their owner's life force even after death. Forged by an extinct winged race using lost technology, the legendary Democleus Bl uh, 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 hmm. Damn, how many names you got on that thing? Yeah, yeah, we got it. Oh, now the music's quiet as shit. What the heck? I guess just the title screen is totally blurring. doesn't look good. I don't think I'm ready for this. But I don't want to die either. Tutorial! Wait, what? Uh, confirm, cancel, info, pause, character, top box, punch it. Okay. When a character attacks, you must press the indicated button at the correct time as shown to gain block attack bonuses. Z pointer indicated button. If you hit the perfect area, your character will automatically land a critical attack and gain extra AP. If you hit the good area, your character will attack regularly and gain AP. Missing act results in less damage, less AP gained, lower accuracy, lower critical chance. Huh. huh. It's like Shadow Hearts. I strike? How come I got my ass kicked? Ugh, he's too strong. But I can't back down now. I've got to win this fight. I need to focus on his attacks. Wait, didn't I actually strike the right zone? What the heck? Huh. My character's AP will recharge when they defend. Every character has an innate passive defensive skill. When your character guards, you have to press the indicator button at the correct time shown to gain uh, defensive bonuses. Oh. Did I need to press B? Well, that's uh... Oh no. Let's try that again. Yeah, I really don't gain that much of an advantage doing that.
Yeah. Oh god, I'm a wuss. Cyan! He's fine, don't worry. Ah, I can't beat off later. Uh. Are you done? Yeah, we're good. We beat him so badly he can barely stand. Ha! Good, you may leave. Didn't I win? You useless piece of trash. I lost everything on that fight. You crippled my champion, yet you didn't kill him? You imbecile. I've lost fortune and my reputation because of you. When I'm done with you, you'll beg me to kill you. I don't think he's worth more alive than dead, no? What? Who are you? Talking inside my head? Does it matter? What's more important is that I want to buy that kid from you. You want to buy this trash? Deal or no deal? Fine, deal. Why would you want this useless slave anyway? It's no longer your concern. He's mine now. Suit yourself. Norms and imbeciles belong together. Oh, fool. You didn't discuss the price? What? Everything hurts. How do you feel, boy? I just said everything hurts, jackass. Th thank you for saving me. I didn't save you. I hired you. Uh, you're, you're inside my head. It hurts. Are you talking inside my head? Oh, you're a dense one, aren't you? Of course. I'm a Norn. Don't worry. I'm of the pure kind. Norn? Pure kind? You don't know? <sighs> Never mind, then. Forget it for now. I hired you to be my guard, and I need your help to cross the Raz Desert. You want me to be your guard? Yeah, he just said that. Why are you so fucking stupid? Why don't you hire a sellsword instead? You defeated the champion in single strike. It was quite impressive. I don't know how I did it. You don't? How interesting. So, will you help an old man who rescued you from the brink of death? Yes, of course. Call me Ghetto. Mas yes, Master Ghetto. Well, I guess that works too. Now, let's get going to the main street, Teldo Street. Don't you dare cause any trouble in Tel Haran, huh? Unless you want your head up on a steak. Oh, I love steak. You got steak for me? Oh, she has said thank you. All hail the Colossal Tormentor. He's the strongest gladiator in the Grand. One time I shouted open sesame in front of a huge block and... And? What do you think? It was just a rock. Oh, this is like super old school. 2D backgrounds with 3D characters running around in them. Is there stuff hidden here? You want to go back to prison? Huh? Go away! The area beyond here is off limits to commoners like you. Tildo Street. Did you see the last match at the Coliseum? Of course. Everybody's talking about it, sure. If only I'd known that that filthy slave could pull off something like that. I would have bet on him. <sighs> uh, it's okay. Nobody saw it coming. Nobody but me, that is. <laughs> it's 
So, Master Ghetto, about the Rajas Desert. Are we going somewhere far away? Not far. The journey will be a little rough. Yes. Are you familiar with the road to Shapur? Shapur? Where's that? Hmm. Easier to say it's on the other side of the Rajas Desert. That's where we're heading. For your first task, I want you to collect my order from the blacksmith. Huh? What order, Master? Go get it and you'll find out. I'll be waiting by the entrance. Go to the blacksmith and get yourself some equipment. Yes, Master Ghetto. I wish my brother would take me to the Baelish Festival. I've practiced dancing so much, I could perform all night. Hey, you! Are you talking to me? Yeah, you dimwit. Anyway, I saw you wandering around here before, but you had some old man with you. Wanna tell me what's going on? Well, I suppose it's not a big deal, actually. We just started traveling together, and he's uh, my master. He freed me. It's kind of sad that you get that you got freed in these desperate times. But what do you mean by desperate times? The world is crumbling. People are selfish and cruel. Kindness is a thing of the past. Would you please tell me more? I don't know anything about this place. Ask away. I'll tell you anything you want to know. What is this place? We're in the we're in Tel Haran, the biggest city of slave owners in Targum. City of slave owners? Holy shit, man, you are just dumb as a brick. <laughs> Indeed, this place is well known for folk who advocate and practice slavery. They also have slaves kill each other in the area at, in the arena as entertainment. Some of those sick bastards even gamble on this stuff too. I've experienced that myself. It's absolutely horrible. Horror and tragedy are everything Legrand has to offer nowadays. Ask away. Why do they sell slaves here? Uh, Danar, obviously. The city thrives on the slave trade. Unfortunately, it's completely legal here. That's why it's such a common occurrence. But are they willing to spend so much just to have their slaves get killed in the arena? Not all, not all the slaves are brought to be slaughtered. Some of them are actually used as servants. They run errands and do other dirty jobs. The more attractive ones are brought to do extra services, if you know what I mean. Are they all going to be slaves for their whole lives? Yes, unfortunately. Some of the luckier ones do get freed by their masters, but that's hardly common. What is Legrand? This, the very ground you're standing on. The place where you live. The place where lots of strange things happen. A long time ago, you could find serenity and beauty in every corner of this island, the land. That was until the first invasion took place. Lear, considering himself to be a god amongst men, worked together with uh, Aeosis, other world beings, and repelled the invasion. But you can't exactly call them worthy of their heroic tales. Just take a look around. They fail to restore the land. Its current state is just the epilogue of a story filled with tragedy. You should keep your eyes, as well as your mind, open. Always judge for yourself. And perhaps one day you will comprehend what I've just said to you. Who is Lear? They call him the Almighty, the only one in this world. Does that mean Lear is a god? You could say that, but the people of Grand should not depend too much on Lear in the hope that he will grant all of their wishes. But what are you trying to tell me? Like I said, this world is crumbling. It's becoming more rotten day by day. People should learn to get back on their own feet and strive to restore the realm themselves instead of completely relying on some godly power. Who are you? Ha! A dimwit like you still has much to learn before you can understand anything about me. Are you satisfied with those answers? I guess so. Thank you. I have no more questions to ask you. Do you even believe anything I've said? Why should I? Why shouldn't I? Were you not telling the truth? That's for you to decide, isn't it? You should judge for yourself whether you should believe my words or not. Okay, I guess. You are one intriguing person. Huh? I like you. What's your name? Finn. Finn. Do you mean like Finn from Phineas? You don't have blonde hair. Ah, my mistake. Don't think too much about it. Let me see your hands. My what? A nut? Yes, a nut. Now, I better get going. Keep it until we meet again, Finn. Ooh, a little frame pacing down there, huh? Why that's such a common occurrence. People actually do their games on monitors. But they ever play them on TVs? I mean, 
Not the way that most people play this stuff. Welcome to Harin Market. <laughs> you can buy anything here. Anything at all. Have you heard the rumor that there is a beast leaving deep in the desert? <laughs> Everybody has. The legend is older than this wretched city. You know what's strange? Apparently there's a girl looking for that beast. She's wandering around the Raha's desert? Apparently, the white-haired girl must be out of her mind. Her. <laughs> I can't imagine what Rampox will do to her once they capture her. <coughs> They'll probably play around with her until they get bored. That's what they always do. Her. <laughs> what kind of madness is she driven by, I wonder? We'll never know. Perhaps the war made her lose her mind. Ah, damn it. At least the check scrolls fast. I don't want to get married, but I want to have kids. Where can I buy them? Why do you have to leave me, my love? Oh, that's why, you jerk. Excuse me, sir. I'm here for Master Ghetto's order. Oh, yes. I'm afraid I haven't finished his order. I'm short on, particular, on a particular ingredient, but if you can help me find it, I'll finish it in no time. I promise. It's called Flamatone. Flamma what? It's pure fire in the form of a stone. With that, the hearth won't burn, and I'll have to close my shop, close down the shop. And why aren't you looking for it? You can't leave my shop unsupervised, but I know I had it just before I arrived. I mean, you lost it. Who cares about the details? I must have dropped it somewhere around the market. I guess I'll help you find it. Really? Thanks a lot. I'd buy five of those for my wife, if I had one. I could buy five of those if I wanted to, but my wife wouldn't like it. They got frame pacing issues. I mean, man, they really should have paid attention by, you know, I don't know, playing through their game after they were done. You found it? Amazing! It wasn't actually that difficult. You're a lifesaver. The stone has finally returned to its rightful owner. I thought I'd lost it for good. After all the hard work I, I had to go through to get this thing, you wouldn't think a thief would be so clumsy, right? Wait, did you just say you stole it? <laughs> Forget about it. I'm putting it to better use anyway. Let me take that sword and armor you wanted. And it's done. All nice and shiny. Here, take these. They're very light and look very sturdy too. Of course they are. <laughs> Did you think I was an ordinary smith? Please, I'm the best in the city. I hear by name the... Alma's blade and steel save your armor. Uh, okay. Doesn't that sound cool to you? Uh, sure, I guess so. Should I pay you for me naming them? Ha! Ah, don't worry about that. It's all part of the service. So, what are you gonna do with them? I'm leaving the city. I've been hired as a guard. Interesting. Where are you heading? My master said we're going to Shapur through the Rahas Desert. What? She must be mad. The Rahas Desert's very dangerous, full of horrifying beasts. And then there are those bandits, the Rampox. Wait, really? Well, it's not easy. Honestly, not people know where Shapur actually is. From what I've heard, you can just follow the northern route and you're sure to find it. It's a long way, but you'll have a much higher chance of not getting buried in sand or getting a heat stroke and ending up at some scavenger's dinner. But I really don't know anything about this trip anyway. I'm just following orders. Well, better to go down swinging then, right? Now, off you go. You can have the plane and armor for free. For free? Are you sure? You just saved my shop. You deserve a reward. Go. Don't make your master wait too long. What do I have? Oh, I have uh, nothing. Sweet. Oh, I'm supposed to wait by the entrance. That's right. Ooh, 
Can I save anywhere? That'd be awful nice. problem with these games if or games built like this it's like where's my character wait it's all the way over there damn is everything ready yes master get up but I got the equipment for free what did you do to earn such a privilege I helped the blacksmith find something you must be very generous or very bad at business anyway why don't you try it on Crypt almost blue. Well, how does it feel? It fits perfectly. Thank you, Master. Excellent. Now we're good to go. Um, Master, the blacksmith told me something. What is it, boy? He said the Rahas Desert is very dangerous. We should take the Gorius route instead. He said it's farther, but it's a safer way to Shapur. He's right, but there's no more time to waste, boy. Okay, then, if you're sure. Oh, don't forget to take this back. Uh, your dinar. Keep it. You might need it sooner or later. Are you sure? It's okay, boy. Come, let us move now. I hate this. Her. I want to go back to Gorius, the great city of Aramans. But I was exiled. I shouldn't have picked all those pockets. Need a lift? Our griffins will take you anywhere. But unfortunately, we're still under construction. Please come back later. Telharan, capital of slavers on the Targan continent. Citizens of Telharan have been practicing slavery since the city's founding. Their main inv entertainment involves fighting each other to the death in the arena. Ah, what a beach. Huh? Oh, can't even get to it. What a stupid beach. Rahas Desert. Despite being a shorter route between Talharan and Shapir, or Shapur, the Rahas Desert is notorious for its combination of extreme heat, savage scavengers, and merciless men as called Rampox. How many who traverse this desert live to tell the tale? So, this is the Rahas Desert. It's blazing hot here. Yes, it is. We can't stay here for too long. The heat would eventually kill us. Take these bloodstone shards and this crossbow. They'll help you survive in the desert. Tutorial. Ah. Each party member can bring up to four items to battle. Select a sign to manage the item, par item party members bring to the battle. Select the character you want to assign the, the items to, then place these items in the slots. You'll be able to use the assigned items during combat. What are those? Clothers. You, need more. you don't need to worry about them. They won't attack us. Are you sure? Clothers are scavengers. They only eat corpses and carry on. By the time you do need to be concerned about them, it'll be too late. I see. I'll try my best not to worry about them, Master Kiddo. Good boy. Let's keep moving. Tutorial again. You can save anywhere as long as there are no enemies. Safe areas are marked with a save icon at the top right corner of the screen. Some dungeons have traps that will harm the party when triggered. Pay attention to your surroundings and what others tell you about them. For example, the Scorching Heat and Rahas will gradually decrease the party's HP, as indicated by a flashing red screen. Crossbow revives a knocked out LA at 25% health. Mm, oh yeah. It's really beautiful art. I sort of don't like the style where it's 2D images and 3D characters, but. I'm sure somebody was feeling nostalgic when they made this. <laughs> I never liked the, that design either back then either. Oh. 
Boy, you look like you could use some guidance in battle. Here, I'll take I'll teach you what to do when facing monsters. Tutorial, yeah. Bump into lingering dead spirits all around the ground to start combat. If you bump into an enemy from behind, enemies are unable to, to act on the first turn. If an enemy bumps into you from behind, your party is unable to act on the first turn. That has a front or a back. It looks kind of... Nice music. A, a monster? Don't worry, master. I'll protect you. Calm down, boy. Sword gens are tough opponents. You'll never be able to defeat them with just your sword. What? Then how are we supposed to kill it? I know a way. Cover me, boy. Don't worry, master. You're safe with me. Tutorial. Uh, you can place your characters in front or at the back. Characters in front have higher attack. Those at the back have higher defense. Humans at the back can only be, be attacked by... can only be attacked by range. Special appeals. Oh, and all front units are wiped out. Melee fighters cannot attack if they are positioned at the back. So, what's the trick, Master? Feel the elements around you, boy. I, I don't get it, Master. Just clear your mind and observe your enemy. I'll show you how it works, but you need to protect me. Alright, Master. Okay, watch this, boy. Tutorial. Every enemy has a class that determines its strength and weakness. Uh, normal enemies do not have any strength or weaknesses. Flying enemies have a high chance to evade a melee attack, but are weak against ranged attacks. Anti-physical enemies have high physical defense, but low magical defense. Anti-magic enemies have high magic defense, but low physical defense. I just remember all the symbols. Okay, whatever. All characters and enemies have one innate attack type and element. Element types. Uh, ooh, okay. okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure I'll remember that. Choose the attack that the enemy is weak against for higher damage. All physical attacks resolve uh, simultaneously. What? All physical attacks resolve simultaneously, immediately. All grimoires resolve after channeling. Grimoires do not cost anything to cast. All grimoire attacks have elemental properties. Channeling units have a higher chance to get interrupted. Uh, fireball? I don't know. Oh, it's... What on? What was that, Master? It's called Grimoire. Can I do that too? Can I use a Grimoire too, Master? Of course, everyone can. You just need to practice a little. It's not that difficult. Yes, Master. I'll keep practicing so I can protect you on this journey. Ah, I like your spirit, boy. Week two, I really don't remember. God, they're all different buttons too. Oh, it's a different button every time? Fuck you, game. Shadow Hearts didn't do that to you. Level up, I get 2 HP. Keep those two. Yeah. Learned Heat Slash. That is some bad frame pacing. It just makes it look choppy. These are one of these things that you can easily fix too. It's not like this is some unsolvable problem for a developer. I mean, I'm almost surprised to see it happen.
great battle music, I'm telling you. Makes you feel heroic. No, all you're really doing is hitting a button, but still, heroically hitting that button. So hard to tell what's front and back and how deep the screen is. Sixty nine, dude. What is that? What? What is that? What? What is what, boy? Monster! What? What monster? I thought I... I swear I just saw giant wings. Where? Up there, in the sky. I see nothing, boy. Your eyes must be playing tricks on you. But... but it was enormous. How could you miss it? Perhaps the desert heat is starting to affect your mind. We should hurry. That's a sight for sore eyes. What is that like, Master Ditto? Go ahead and touch it. I, I feel refreshed. That is energy in its purest form, leaking from the ground itself. Leaking? That doesn't sound good. It's a good thing for us, but not for Legrand. It wasn't always like this. What changed? The Great War. It tipped the balance. It was a full-scale assault on our universe, boy. But we don't have time to discuss it now. But if it's leaking, shouldn't someone do something about it? Perhaps. For now, we should use this to our advantage and get going. Remember, every time you feel weak and exhausted, just look for this light. It will help you regain your strength. the button or anything to attack, you just run into it. Make them all, all strength and vitality. This is just a complete bonehead.
It's getting dark. We should rest for the night. But you said we need to get to Shapur as fast as... Rahas is even more dangerous at night. It would be better not to risk it. Rushing headlong without planning won't do us any good. We should stop for now. But then where would we stay for the night? Search that cave, would you? Check if it's clear or not. Um, alright. I think it's safe for us to stay here tonight, Master. Very well, boy. How are you feeling? How's your wound? I'm okay, Master. It's just... I might be old, but I'm no fool. You can't lie to me. It's just a small wound, Master. See? This is bad. It might get infected if you leave it untreated. Drink this. Do not spill it. Oh, okay. Uh, what is this? It tastes like... like... Now sit still for a while, would you? Just let it do its work. What was that, Master? I can't feel my wounds anymore. Mingatu, a rare herb. It's not a simple cure. It restores your life force, regenerates broken tissues, makes you makes you immune to diseases, and enhances your strength. I went far north. I went far to the north to find it. This herb is the reason why we're in a hurry. My daughter, Harris, she's very sick. This herb is the only thing that can keep her condition stable. You have a daughter, Master Ghetto? Yes, my only daughter. She means the world to me. So this journey is to save your daughter? Are you disappointed? Well, I'm grateful to be on this journey with you, Master Kiddo. I have a chance to see the world now. And what do you think about the world, boy? I, I like it so far. It's quite pretty outside of the city walls. It's all thanks to you that I get to see any of it. Oh, the world might in indeed be pretty, boy. But beneath all that beauty lies, lies foulness. I'm sure you'll come to see it as you travel. I know this is a bit late, but... What's your name, boy? It's Finn. At least I think it is. How intriguing. Well then, where are you from? I don't know, Master. Honestly, Master, I've been asking myself the same questions for a long time. I woke up in Talaran with no memory, save for my name. A mystery indeed. I can see if I can help you. Care to try? What do you mean? How can you... Just give me your hand, boy. Let me do the rest. It's going to put it right here on my crotch. And uh, the blood spills from my hand. I can see something, but it's not clear. Is this from my past? What's this? Snow? I'm no longer in the desert? No. The red echelon still needs me. I saw something. Perhaps it's something from your past. Do you recognize anything? I don't know, but everything felt familiar. What's wrong, boy? Will I ever get my memories back? Memories always come and go, boy. But don't worry. I'm sure that you will in time. I understand. I don't know how to thank you. Truly, there is no need to. Now, let's call it a day and get ourselves some sleep. sun's rising. We'll leave as soon as the sunlight reaches us. Are those letters, Master? Yes, for Eris, my daughter. How are you going to deliver them? I don't need to. This thing here is an old device. She can listen to whatever I write. But how can you communicate directly with each other by using a letter? Norns are always bound to each other. Boy, moreover, Eris and I are bound by blood. We've always considered quick communication to be one of the most important things we should continue pursuing. So we invented many ways to make communication easier, both between Norns and, other and with others. That's amazing. So is that like you talking with me inside my head? Yes, but with this letter, she can hear me no matter how far we are from each other. I see. You're all full of surprises, Master. Yes, life is full of them, isn't it? Uh, I have been mean to ask, Master. I don't actually know what a Norn is. Would you mind telling me what it is or, or who they are? It's a very long story for the little time we have. All I can tell you for now is that Norn is a race. Another thing I've learned from you. Now let's get everything ready to go.
Not so fast, kid. I bet there's a lot of itching stuff in that bag of yours. An ambush, you cowards. Attacking innocents. Well, kid, they do say the early bird gets the worm. What do you hope to gain from an old man and a slave? I can see a nice shiny set of armor and a well-tempered blade. What kind of slave are you, huh? An old man, huh? I'm sorry, Master Gitter. I didn't mean it like that. Just shut up and hand over your things. I'm warning you. You've got some guts, slave. Finn, I'm going to cut you in half. You won't be threatening us again after this, you maggot. What, I died straight off? Are you serious? Did I recover my health? Master Ghetto. Oh no. Master Ghetto, hang in there. Don't worry about him, kid. Why don't you go back to sleep? Ah. Let him go. You will not take this boy. Uh, what? You're talking inside my head? What the hell are you? What the hell? He got it back up again. Kill him. Kill the old freak. Old oh, bastard. Die. Just die. Ah. Shit. He killed Ruckus. Do something, you idiots. Hey, old man. Stop fighting. I'm going to kill your little friend here. Let him go. Ha. You're dead now, you bastard. Leave the boy alone. You move one more step, and I'll slit his throat. You're a scum, all of you. Die, you old bastard. Uh, run! Run! What the fuck? They just... Uh, <laughs> didn't even want to show me it, huh? Those cowards! They stabbed me in the back! Oh, I'm not a very good guard, huh? No! Why? I'm sorry. I I'm so sorry. No, stay back. Hey, stay away from him. That's because they force you to die. Why even make that interactive then? Why not just make that a story element? Have problem with story a month. I was reading things on just a black screen. <laughs> Get out of here. Leave home alone. Go away. Don't you dare come near him. Filthy beasts. Leave Master Ghetto alone. Is it a fucking but different button every time? This is a 
working. I can't defeat them like this. I need to. No. I must defeat them in one fell swoop. Tutorial. You can use the character's special skills when their action point bar is full. Die! The herb. I must get the herb. Oh, thank Lear. There's still some left. The Rampox didn't know what they had. I have to deliver it to Master Ghetto's daughter in Shapur. She needs it. I have to bring this to her and finish my master's journey. Oh no, here they come again. Ugh, there are too many of them. By the order of the king, I hereby execute you. You will regret this. Kill them. You don't deserve to live, are you serious? Please save me, execute him, give me back my family justice. Your hands are shut up, why do you kill them all? This is the only way. You have to trust me. Oh, my daughter needs you. <laughs> you can't kill me. Not now. Not ever. Continue my journey. You are the only one who can. You must not fail, my daughter. Ah! No. Master Ghetto. No, don't. Get away from here, you beast. No. Those giant wings. No. Hey, pull yourself together. Listen. Open your eyes. Uh, who are you? Are you Eris? Eris? Who? I'm Aria. And who are you? It's... I'm Finn. How long have I been here? I just got here, so I don't know. But I do want to know about the beast you were mumbling about. I, w I was? Wait, Master Ghetto. Oh no. No, those things. They got him. I saw what happened to the old man. I arrived too too late to help. I can't believe this. I need to... I need to find his body. That's impossible. There's nothing you can do once the Clothers have someone. There's nothing left of your friend now. I can suggest a different course, unless you want to become Clother food. I'm curious about the beast you were mumbling about. What can you tell me about it? I don't remember, but... Miss, I need water, please. God damn, this character's pa fucking pathetic. <laughs> Thank you, miss. Thank you so very much. So, about the beast. Were you dreaming, or did you really see it? I thought I saw something in the desert. Giant wings. But Master Ghetto said it was just the heat messing with my head. Hmm. Finn, I need you to take me to the place you saw those wings. I want to help, but I can't. I'm sorry, miss. Oh, you're ungrateful, too. Jeez. Oh. Oh dear, which way should I go? You don't even know where Shapur is? I'll find it, somehow. No, you won't. Shapur isn't easy to find. What? Then can you just tell me how to get there? How about you help me and then I help you? But please, take me to the place where you think you saw those giant wings. But I need to hurry. Then you better move fast. You promise to take me to Shapur if I show you where I saw those wings? I promise. Now lead the way. Aria, join the party.
Alright, uh, why don't we stop it there? Uh, this is out of posture. You're watching the ground legacy on the Switch. Uh, I think there's a lot of potential here. Um, looks really good. Um, the graphics are really good. The uh, the sounds really good and well composed. Um, the controls are pretty much what you expect out of them. Um, like I said, it's replicating the early day. You know, the kind of the earlier days of uh, RPGs with static backgrounds and or semi-static backgrounds and uh, 3D characters, so it's going to take a little while to get used to the way the lands are, desert, are, are rendered and the depth perception. Per and the depth perception. Uh, but overall, I think it's, uh, I think it's a, a well-made game, and uh, I think we're going to play all the way through this one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.